largest swim up bar, even then. It's unbelievable. Pool bars are unbelievable back then. Anyway, this song here is a song about my favorite tradition here at Putin Bay. It's a tra tradition that goes back a hundred years, and it's waving off the last boat of the season. It started right down here in the harbor, on the dock down there where the Keys is at. It used to be a boat that came in called uh, the Putin Bay. It was a steamer that came out of Detroit every day of the summer carrying 2,500 passengers. If you can imagine, it. today's boats only carry about 400 or so. And Labor Day was his last run of the season, and on Labor Day, the Islanders would gather and walk down to the dock and they wave that boat and their, and their season goodbye. Well, Labor Day ain't the last boat around these parts anymore, but we still keep that tradition alive every year down at the Lime Kiln Dock. And I'm proud to say that when we do, they had me come down and sing this song. It happens here every year. It's an island tradition. Labor Day at 10 to 8, at the end of the season. Till the Lime Kiln Dock, you will see them flock all the island people gather. Little line passes out the wine and the dock hands start to scatter. The boat sounds its horn and it pulls away and turns to face the island. People on the coast, they raise up a toast. Choose the next year, they give it to you in their way. They wave the summer away. The stock market was a young boy when he used to run the siren. And those still in densely foggy days, so the boats could find the island. And as a young man, he'd work the boats all day. At night, he'd play the guitar. He'd try to shower down the way on the last run, and then he'd run the plate around bar. And he'll tell you how he misses so his love of playing music, but like his dad before, he found the boats meant more. And now he stands on the island shore and he waves, he waves the summer away. Eric Booker was the first generation of his family to be born here on the island. Now he's the captain of the Stanley. He learned to run a boat at the age of eight and learned to live off of the water. And he learned to appreciate the island's sons and daughters. And when you see him smile, then you know for sure. Man, he'll never leave this island like his dad before. He found that less is more. Here he is on the island shore. He he waves, he waves the summer away. And still you have to wonder, through the years, how many people stood right here. As folks prepared to leave so they could wave. From all the steamer ships to the diesel ferries, man, I'll bet Oliver Hazard Perry probably even saw somebody wave. So if you're on that ship for its last trip, and you look back to the island, you see the markets, the bookers, the parkers, and the doggins, and the folks this year serve the beer with the restaurants and the gift shops. They line the shore like the years before to see the captain turn those big props, and he'll spin that boat and blow that horn so long it seems forever. But when the air runs out, it turns to south, and people on the island shout in their way the summer way the way the summer way the way the summer